All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation seven to the power of x is equal to 70. So before we start on our solution, let's notice that this is an exponential equation and x is an exponent, which is the variable we're solving for. So let's just try to plug in a number. Let's start with one. So we have seven to the power of one, and this is equal to seven. Now, let's go one higher. Let's go seven to the power of two. This is equal to 49. And now let's go one higher. Let's go seven to the power of three. This is equal to 349. So notice how we're trying to find what value of x to, that we should take the power of seven to equal 70 but even the number three is much results in a number much higher than 70 meaning the value of x is going to be a decimal somewhere in between two and three so now to actually solve for x my equation is seven to the power of x is equal to 70 and what i'm first going to do and what i recommend doing for any exponential equation such as this is taking the log on both sides. And the reason that you should do this is because now you can use the property log a to the power of b. I can move the speed to the front so I get b times log a. Log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. And the reason this property is so useful is because before x was an exponent and it's really hard to solve for x in its previous state but now i can move x to the front and it's going to be an actual term so now i get x times log 7 is equal to log 70. now log 70 is the same thing as log of 7 times 10. And another property of logarithms is that if I have something in form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 7 times 10 is going to equal log of 7 plus log of 10. So now from here, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by log 7 because we obviously want to isolate x so the only way to do that is to get rid of this log 7. So then these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log 7 plus log 10 over log 7 and I can rewrite this as log 7 over log 7 plus log 10 over log 7. Now log 7 and log 7 cancel out, so I get x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 7. And if you guys already didn't know, log 10 is actually equal to 1. So now I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 7. And this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 8 to the power of x is equal to 80. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm going to be solving for. And now for my solution. I'm going to rewrite my equation here, a to the power of x is equal to ad. And now, my first step to solving this problem is rewriting 80 as 8 times 10. So now I get 8 to the power of x is equal to 8 times 10. And now, I can go ahead and divide both sides by 8. So then these two cancel out, and I get 
8 to the power of x over 8 is equal to, all that's left here is 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So a to the power of x over 8, well, 8 is the same thing as a to the power of 1. And a to the power of x over a to the power of 1, by using this property, is going to equal a to the power of x minus 1. And this is equal to 10. Now from here, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log of 8 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log of 10. And the reason that I took the log on both sides is because now I can use the property that states that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x minus b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. So log a to the power of x minus 1, I can move x minus 1 to the front, and I get x minus 1 times log 8 is equal to log 10. And this property is really important because before, x was an exponent. And it's really hard to solve an exponential equation. But now we moved x, and now it's a real term, and it's much simpler to solve. So now what I'm going to do is distribute my log x here. So now I get x times log x, or log 8, which is equal to x times log 8, minus 1 times log 8, which is just log 8, is equal to log 10. And now I'm going to add log 8 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x times log 8 is equal to log 10 plus log 8. And now we want to isolate x, so what I'm going to do is get rid of this log 8 by dividing both sides by log 8. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to log 10 plus log 8 over log 8. Now log 10, that's equal to 1, if you guys already didn't know. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 8 over log 8. Now, this is the same thing as 1 over log 8 plus log 8 over log 8. And log 8 and log 8, these two cancel out, so I'm left with x is equal to 1 over log 8 plus 1. And log 8 is equal to 0 0.9031. So I get x is equal to 1 over 0 0.9031 plus 1. And 1 over 0 0.9031 is equal to 1.1073. And this plus 1 is equal to 2.1073. So this is my answer.